you know, God is not one thing on a list of things in our life. So we can't say that, you know, I have a list of the top 10 most important things and God is the top of that list. That's not quite what we want. God is everything, and I have a top 10 list of important things. Okay. God okay. is beyond even that. Um, the funny adage that uh, if God is your co-pilot, you're sitting in the wrong seat. <laughs> right? so, so it's a way of saying that God is not one thing among other things in our life. God is everything. I saw the funny uh, clip recently of the young boy who's saying his friend asked him if he needed Jesus to go to heaven, and he responded, brother, you need Jesus to go to Walmart. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a way of saying that, that God is everything. Okay, if that's true, then spending time with God, focused on God alone, the, the purpose of this time is for God, and it has no other purpose. Hmm. It has no utilitarian purpose. Uh, then that becomes uh, the reason why we want to slow down. The monks at Gethsemane Monastery in Kentucky, it's a Trappist monastery, cloistered monastery, and over the entry gate is a single stone lintel, and it says, God alone, and that's it. The monks who live there walk through that gate and close it behind them, intending to stay there for the rest of their life and focus their life and prayer on God alone. They work so that they can live. They do manual work. But their purpose even of their work is to balance out their life so that they can spend their life productively in Lectio Divina. So they'll spend hours a day in this kind of holy reading. Hmm. They're not in a hurry to get through anything. They're simply there at God's disposal, you could say. So that's the purpose of it. If we try to rush through something like Lexio Divina, God is, is a, a whisper, and we'll be disturbing that. Um, it, it will cause, you know, you can think of a pond. We look at the beautiful still water on a pond, just a little pebble out there, and we've got ripples and we can't see. So when we're practicing Lexio or any kind of contemplative or meditative kind of prayer, we're letting go of utility and recognizing that God is worthy of my life and of my time. And so I'm going to give him these 20 minutes, mm -hmm. and I'm going to use the scriptures. I have sometimes gone into a chapel to, to pray Lexio Divina and felt a movement in me that prevented me from even opening the book. Hmm. Felt a movement in me that says, just sit here and be quiet. And then I just sit there and be quiet. I don't even need the book in that moment because I'm, I'm already experiencing and, and engaged in what the book is ultimately going to lead me to.